not all that spooky for Halloween. Hi, I'm meteorologist Dave Humphrey. I hope you're having a great day. Sunshine filtered with some high clouds usually sets up amazing sunsets. So if you snap a great picture, we'd love to see it. Right now we're sitting in the upper 70s and low 80s around the area, and that's across the board. Only Cambria checking in at 72, and that's a pretty good number. Temperatures running warmer than yesterday in Santa Barbara, 10 degrees warmer than this time yesterday. We talked about this relating to the fires, how dry the air is. That's because the winds are offshore. It's one of the reasons the daytime highs are high. The fire risk is high and we have cold overnight lows because once the sunshine goes down, we radiate that heat off into space because we don't have any marine layer and the air is just so dry. The winds currently are weakly onshore. We're expecting them to go offshore again tonight and be locally gusty yet again in the Santa Lucia range and part of the La Panza wilderness. Generally in slow county, seeing the better offshore push, then back breezy onshore on Wednesday. So you get the idea here. We're locked into a pretty static pattern. This was issued just inside the last hour. That is a frost advisor for the deep interior, Cuyama Valley, Santianez Valley, Santa Maria Valley, and around San Luis Obispo. You'll notice the southern Salinas River Valley is not included, and that's because it hard froze there last night. Because it's so warm now, the trick-or-treating weather is going to be great. Beach communities in the 60s dropping into the 50s. The coastal valleys will see temperatures generally in the 60s all the way through the 10 o'clock hour. The interior, because it's so dry, will drop into the 50s quickly by 8 o'clock. And for the south coast communities, we're looking at temperatures dropping into the upper 60s. So this is not all that bad considering the kind of cold weather we start the mornings with. So trick-or-treating, good luck, everybody. Have fun out there. Here's the extended forecast. Look at the 80s holding on through the entire forecast in the interior and then just dropping to the upper 70s. Yeah, the overnight lows eventually do moderate over the next couple of days, which is some good news. Santa Maria, Santa Barbara, same story here. We are on the warm side most of the forecast and even when we back off for the weekend and early next week, we're still looking at 70 degree temperatures with overnight lows in the 40s. There's some rain heading into Northern California. Talk about that and more in a story at KSBY.com right now. We'll see you again at 5 o'clock. Take the KSBY microclimate weather forecast with you.